I don't know if it's better like this or like this. Guys, I don't know how to put this hat. Is it better like this? Or like this? Are you the first one in your family to go to varsity? I know it can be devastating. I was that. I was that, guys. It was very hey, critical. It was critical. So I know that when you are the first person in your family to go to varsity, it can be really like scary. It can be confusing. You do not know what to expect. And it's very hard to adjust to that type of lifestyle without any guidance. I am here to give your advice on varsity life, what to expect, and tips that might help you when adjusting to that university life as a first year student. So, yeah! I hope this information helps you guys. Please watch till the end. And if you have any questions, please send them on the comments. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Daily Life with Tea, and I don't spill the tea because I am the tea, okay? So, as I've already mentioned, this video is about university life as a first year student, what to expect and the do's and the don'ts basically if you wanna survive if you don't wanna get eaten by comrades if you do not wanna hey become a meal to the comrades and then hey <laughs> if you wanna bring back that degree please listen very carefully listen very carefully yeah I am a third year student in the University of Pretoria this year so I have had two years of experience in university so here is what i can tell you about university life first things first i'm gonna start with the social life because i know that most people are more worried about the social life because social life in varsity is very different from social life in high school if you do not have friends in varsity it will become very tough for you so here's what i can say about social life in university if you want to make friends attend orientation because that's where you can start your small talk and the next thing you find ubu sitting there and the next thing you find ubu okay this can be your friend nyana for two minutes and whoever you speak to on during orientation or whatever or anyone you might find Uguti, that can become your friend temporarily or whatever you do not need to be friends with that person like 24 7 the entire year if you feel Uguti, this person is she's not really my cup of tea just bambezel onto that person up until you get used to university then you can ditch them afterwards that's the best advice i can give you because sometimes you meet people during your 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 your, your first few days in varsity and then you realize Uguti, ah, I, this one she's not my cup of tea mina i'm not that type of a person yeah, so just hold on to people that you might make conversations with just so that you can adjust to university at least if you're confused together at least you will learn together yeah but in university it is very important to know people yeah in, in university like you will learn that sometimes what's important it's not what you know but who you know know people if you want to have access to textbooks information and i don't know anything j university like you need to know people but not knowing people for dangerous things like drugs please 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 in varsity even if you just have one friend or two friends it's fine as long as you have someone at least that can break that loneliness thing you might feel when you are at varsity so even if it's just one friend or two friends please remember that we are all clueless you might think just because of you are a first year you do not know anything everyone knows like everything i can pass if they have figured it all out hey my sister my brother song we are going through the same thing i might be in second year third year or whatever i'm still figuring out life i'm still getting lost on campus i don't know where some lecture rooms are so you are not the only one you are not the only one do not be afraid to ask for help if you are getting lost we are all just trying to navigate varsity life and figure out what is what so don't be ashamed and don't be scared we are all just lost we are we are we are we are yeah we are confused be careful of joining i'm a satanist <laughs> be careful <laughs> 
like in varsity there are people who will recruit ne? they'll come to you tell you about the bible you know they'll tell you about bible studies and what not via recruiter and all those things please know yourself Don't find yourself having joined Bible studies that are not Bible studies. Next thing manje so ya no ya use verse ithi ungazi ukuthi ungene kanjani. Please be aware. Be aware. Don't just join anything. Be aware. Please be aware of comrades. Varsity A. Ama comrade baba zonibonisa shame. Don't be hey uuzifaka kwama situation. Ube you need to be straight smart. Yeah, but I'm a comrade, ne? I'm a comrade. Like, bazoni use, bazoni use. Hey, some people, ne, will have intentions of being your friend because they see the things that you have. Especially, let's say, if you come from a family when you are, where you have money, and now people are used to Gucci, when now you are the one who will buy things or whatever. Next thing, now you are getting used because they know Gucci. Okay, this one she has money, so she's gonna pay or do this or do that. So be careful of the friends you have. Otherwise, you will get used. You will have that friend who always comes to you every day because they know Gucci. When they come to you, you are gonna give them a meal, or you will have that friend who's gonna want to go out with you because they know that you are gonna pay. So be careful of getting used. Don't be too kind. Know when to say no. As much as varsity is all about um getting your degree and all those things, don't forget to have fun. It's all about socializing as well. A lot is gonna happen in varsity. You are going to learn. You are going to grow. You are going to get to know people and all those things. Like please enjoy yourself because life after varsity is over. Petwe is stress so go to your toilet um sebenzi. Don't spend twenty four seven in your room. How are you even gonna meet people if you are in your room twenty four seven? Or if you are one of those people who like you the only thing you do your life in varsity is just basically attending lectures coming back to your room attending lectures coming back to your room you are literally the first one to even leave the lecture room once the lecture has ended ah, ah how are you going to make friends how are you going to know people please you don't want to look back at your varsity life and be like yo mara i mean i'm in petrol stress i never got a chance to do anything go out do things activities Like have fun. You are still young, man. You don't have stress so good. You bond with Patala ni ni. Like go and have fun ni. Oh na yo na man young stress ni na. Like have fun ni. Please don't try so hard to fit in and then like question yourself about it. I don't have this. I don't have that. Cause in varsity people have come from different backgrounds. Others are coming from rich families. Others we are coming from poor families. Others we are coming from families whereby only one person works or whatever. Others have iPhones. They have the latest sneakers. They have the latest clothes. They have. Yeah, please don't compare yourself to people. Know yourself. Know where you are coming from. Do not use, lose yourself trying to fit in. Please don't lose. That's that's when you will find yourself in a big mess. Literally, you will find yourself in a situation whereby you do not even know why you are even there in the first place. Be disciplined. Remember what your parents taught you, and then just be responsible and do you. Do you who is for you will be with you who is not for you will stay there gabo please don't try and too hard to fit in having said that it is very important to be self aware so that you know what are your do's and don'ts so that you know when to say no and when to say yes gabo it's very important and it's very important to even set boundaries so that when you have friends who like are used to drinking or you have friends who are used to doing certain things and then when they want you to do what they are doing they know who to know this person does does not do these things this is her boundary they will respect it if they don't respect your boundaries and they're still trying to pressure you into joining them those people are not for you those people are not for you and do not feel embarrassed if uh, they are always saying i when i'm gonna you are a granny we are bora if that's the case let it be leave leave you 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 do not need to be doing things just because you want to be seen as cool or you want to be seen as yeah the, these are my friends this is my friend or part of the group no please know yourself set your boundaries na pana there is no parent who's going to be telling you oguti don't do this don't do that you will literally have total freedom or there is no parent who's going to be looking over your back telling you oguti hey, if you do this in zotosha in there is none of that and with too much freedom comes big responsibility and big discipline and if you lack like those i don't know please don't smoke drugs please don't find yourself trying to test out drugs otherwise it degree yako is ot 
please don't do it and know your limit if you're gonna be going to groove with people or whatever please know your limit don't try too hard guys some people i'm a tanky i'm a hey they, they are tanks see some people are tanks so you need to know your limit you cannot compete with someone who has been drinking since way back when now you're just here in varsity you are starting with your small onion alcohol you don't even know how savannah tastes like we eat uti one sip you get drunk next thing you think oh, you can compete with those people you wanna drink and you are a tank you will die you will get taken advantage of please know your limit if you know what it's your first time drinking alcohol and you are starting out in varsity just start with your one side when you are when you are at groove small steps small steps no one will expect you to drink an entire six bottles of savannah please please be careful if you are going to groove please go to groove with people you can trust because there are some people you'll go to groove with and the next thing when you're already there they don't want to come back home anymore some people now like they they, they just they scattered they like you you don't see the people you came with now you find yourself alone in this place that you do not know of and you don't know anyone go to groove with people you can trust or would even when you get too drunk or whatever to a point of no return these people will make sure that you get back to your place safe and in one piece and then you wake up still safe and healthy without any problems people who will tell you when they see what yeah like you need to go home or whatever go with people you can trust otherwise as a pimp some people in, in, in varsity they'll pimp you for money Utoli, next thing you are waking up in someone's room and you don't even know how you got there please be careful or you you, you find yourself putting a, your life in danger because now people don't want to leave the club you have to live on your own you have to bolt alone so don't do that go to groove with people you can trust and also be careful of the friends you keep because some friends you will go to groove next thing Mumuntu is busy telling you eh hey, that guy he's interested in you that guy that guy next thing they are pushing you to go towards that guy can't you they know good they already had a deal with that guy which are you will get hair or whatever next thing that person gets paid because the guy child so be careful of the friends you keep thank you so much for watching my video i hope this video was very informative i tried to explain what i could and what i could remember so please bear with me ne? But if you have any other question and did not understand anything I said, don't feel bad or feel ashamed or embarrassed. Please send that comment. Type that comment. Send that comment there. I'll respond. Please just ask. Ask. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And hit the notification button to get more notifications of when I post. And yeah! I'm here for you students please sigoa sisonke we are within together let's not suffer alone let's suffer together let's help one another i got you and thank you very much for watching till next time bye